So this is a really unique review for me since uh, in earlier this year, in March, I actually reviewed this product without knowing what's actually in it. Um, if you're familiar with the channel and my philosophy about talking about products, I almost strictly talk based off of the Supplement Facts panel. Uh, I like to go off of the panel and I like to review companies that I know what's on the panels and the product. So back in March, I had a really unique opportunity to review Warrior from Nutrex. I actually got it in December, um, but because of a few delays, coronavirus and all that stuff going on, uh, it hasn't released until recently, and I was able to post my video about it in uh, early March. So in that video, I talked about how I felt when I took it, I talked about the flavor, I uh, speculated what I thought was in it, and I was kind of close in some ways, uh, but today I'm actually going to break down the product, what's actually in it, and <laughs> claimed, and talk a little bit about what that means. Uh, I've, I'm not gonna try it out and tell you about the flavor already, because if you want th that, you can go to the other video and check that out, but a little bit of a breakdown on Warrior, the new line from Nutrex, their pre-workout. Welcome to Price Plow. Now we're always a big fan of Nutrex here at Price Plow because we know where this stuff is manufactured. We know that it's all third-party tested. Uh, we just kind of trust the company because we know what goes into it. Uh, they have some pretty cool formulas. They've done some different stuff over the years. Uh, they've proven to us they know what they're doing. And they're also still able to make products that are internationally compliant. Uh, there's, there's a lot going on with Nutrex and we're just, in general, fans of what they do. So, Warrior, their new powerful pre-workout, is a cool addition to the line because they already have, let me grab it here, their line of Outlift, uh, which is a kind of like a clinical pre-workout. It's that fully dosed, um, well-rounded, efficacious, everything kind of pre-workout that's gonna have the citrulline, the betaine, the creatine, uh, the beta alanine, your normal run-of-the-mill stuff that is not going to really piss anyone off. It kind of just fall, falls within the lines of what most people are looking for. This Warrior product is going to be a higher stim product. It's going to be uh, a little bit more powerful. They say here, it's, I think this is a little bit more lended towards power strength athletes. If you are an Olympic uh, weightlifter, a power lifter, maybe even a crossfitter that is more um, focused on their power output than their cardio at the time, this is a great pre-workout for you. Uh, so one of the things I talked about in the uh, review where I wasn't aware of what was actually in it was that I was impressed with the stimulant, that it was a little bit more than what I'm normally used to from Outlift, but it was not like a hardcore pre-workout. We do not expect hardcore pre-workouts from Nutrex because they are made in a CGMP uh, facility. They're always tested for banned substances, stuff like that, so we're not expecting DMHA or anything wild from them on that stuff, but we. I was impressed with the stimulant here. Now something that I also added in was I was equally as impressed with the pumps. So I was kind of curious about what was actually in the product. I remarked that I thought there was not just caffeine but another source of caffeine in there uh, or something different like a dynamine, which uh, they actually have calf citrate in here which I was kind of right on that, so it's kind of cool. Let's start from the top and work our way down through the formula. So what's really cool about this product, in my opinion, is they did not use any citrulline. There's been some controversy with citrulline recently, um, especially versus nitrazogene from Nutrition 21. Um, a lot of people are questioning whether we really need citrulline in every product. Now, they didn't actually go with any sort of replacement for citrulline in this product, but they didn't use any citrulline either, which I find pretty interesting. That's really why I'm thinking that this is supposed to be lending towards a power output product. Other than the fact that it's called powerful pre-workout and on the back with the claims it goes high stimulant energy unstoppable power and the last claim is intense pumps the first ingredient in here is not citrulline like i said it's betaine and hydrous at 2.5 grams so the highest dose ingredient in here at least for actives is going to be betaine and hydrous uh, betaine and hydrous is really awesome for like i said power output one of the main claims of the product but it's also really great for hydration as well as it is a precursor to creatine within the body betaine and hydrous is probably one of the reasons that i was so so impressed with the pump that I got from this product because this product does not have a lot going for it for pump. Uh, if I had to give my buddies over at Nutrex a little bit of friendly criticism, I would not have put intense pumps on the back of here because there's really only two ingredients here for pumps. Now, yes, I did get a great pump, but based on the ingredients that are in here, I don't really know if intense pumps is really something that can be substantiated. However, I was impressed with the pumps. I wouldn't say they were intense, like a nitrate pump though. Moving into the second ingredient, glycerocytes. Now, in my last video, I talked about how I was extremely hydrated that day, and I had a decent amount of carbs. I mean, not a lot of carbs, but I had 200 grams of carbs in me that day, and I had a great pump from it. What's funny is I remarked that about how hydrated I was going into the workout. That absolutely makes sense with a gram and a half of glycerocytes here, which is 65% glycerol powder, stabilized by some silica. 
I was definitely getting that hyperhydration effect that you get from glycerol products. Now, glycerol is an iffy ingredient out there. It can make some problems with clumping. It also um, is kind of iffy in terms of dosaging because if you actually dose the raw glycerin, it's got. I think it's somewhere around like a gram per kilogram of body weight is supposed to be the proper dosage for it. So when we start moving into these glycer size hydromaxes, there's even a new one coming out that I'll be talking about soon. It's kind of iffy on where the dosages are. They can be anywhere from one gram to four grams, but the problem is the more you add, the more clumping you get since it's a hydroscopic ingredient. I was impressed with it here. It did not clump too horribly. I was able to get a nice scoop out, mix it up nicely, drink it down without an issue. The clumping wasn't too bad, but it did give me the benefits I felt. Um, without even knowing how much was in there, I felt the benefits. So to me, I mean, you could always tell someone they're getting that placebo effect, but I feel like this was a pretty good blind taste, uh, blind test for myself. After glycerides, we have a gram of creatine hydrochloride. Now. I'm not really a fan of specialized um, creatine ingredients, and I'm just being transparent on that. I really don't think that there's a reason for the major mainstream public to be using a special version of creatine. Creatine monohydrate is my favorite. It works. It's tried and true. It's the most studied supplement in, in history, so I'm a huge fan of that. Creatine hydrochloride, there's nothing wrong with it, but it can be a little bit more expensive, and I don't really know if I would support the extra spend on it. Now, one of the downsides of it is that it's, it is more expensive, and that leads some companies to use lower amounts, because it's technically easier to digest, we'll say, something like that. Um, I'm happy that there's a gram of creatine hydrochloride in here, but being honest, I would rather have five grams of creatine monohydrate. Just gonna be real about it. Um, I don't really find it to be all that impressive to be using creatine hydrochloride, especially if you're only gonna use a gram of it. Now there's been different claims, you can use less. I don't personally agree. Um, but overall, this product, in my opinion, is based more towards power output in the acute sense, and creatine is more of a long-term supplement. You should be taking five grams of it every day. It's so cheap, just buy it on its own and take it. So, kind of not negative points here for, for creatine hydrochloride, but just kind of neutral addition in my opinion. We follow that up with uh, choline bitartrate at one gram. Now the dosage of this I'm happy with. A whole gram of choline bitartrate is more than a lot of uh, products will have out there for pre-workout purposes. The only thing that I am neutral on, again, we don't know the source of the choline bitartrate. This could be the L isomer, it could be the R isomer. The L isomer, like Vitacholine, this is trademark version, is a much better version. It's way more relevant to the way that your body uh, intakes Choline sources, it's gonna be a lot more useful. Choline by tartrate on the totem pole of cholines is probably one of the lower ones, but it's still useful as a choline source. If you're not getting whole eggs in often, this is gonna help you out with your choline for the day. It's gonna help your body produce acetylcholine, which helps brain function, memory, muscle connection with uh, with the brain. My muscle connection is awesome for getting squeezed out reps, making sure you're getting the pump that you need and, and recruiting the muscle fibers that you're looking for during your workout. Overall, choline bitartrate, I'm happy to see it in here at a gram. I'd like to know more though. Maybe it is the L isomer. Maybe, absolutely possibly could be. This is not a big, well-known topic in the industry, so it's entirely possible that Nutrix didn't think it was important to put that on the label. And I wouldn't blame them for it because most non-industry experts or insiders will not know much about this. Now moving into L-tyrosine, 750 milligrams. We're following up the choline bitartrate with a nice dose of L-tyrosine. I'm a bigger fan of a gram plus, but 750 750 milligrams is, in my opinion, the minimum dosage to get the benefits from. L-tyrosine is going to help out a lot with uh, dopamine and serotonin production in the brain, or actually really the regulation between the two of them, and it's going to make sure that you are focused in for your workout. Um, there are some pretty cool effects if you're like going above two grams, three grams, it can be really like laser focusy. But 750 milligrams here is going to help dial you in enough. But it's not going to give you too much of that tonal focus or anything. It's it's going to be pleasant. So now we get into the two caffeine sources I talked about before. We got caffeine and hydrous at 300 milligrams that's already like an awesome dose I'm a big fan of higher dose caffeine stuff I'm either all or nothing I either want a big dose caffeine or I want none at all with the pump product and here we've got 300 milligrams of anhydrous caffeine anhydrous is your typical traditional caffeine that you're used to taking 300 milligrams is gonna be a, a nice kick in the pants they follow that up with ca uh, calf citrate k-a-f-f -F, citrate um, it's at 200 milligrams but this is 50 percent milligram 50 uh, percent caffeine by weight so it's gonna actually net out 100 milligrams of pure caffeine so that brings the total dosage of caffeine for this product to 400 milligrams now this is pretty cool because you can drink it um, close to your workout session and that caffeine citrate is pretty fast it's gonna kick you right uh, right away so you could drink this right as you're going into your gym, do 10 minutes of cardio, hit the weights and it's going to be hitting you already, which is pretty nice for someone like myself who doesn't like to drink it too far out of their workout. After that, we uh, throw in some theobromine. Uh, 
Theobromine at 200 milligrams is gonna be nice. It's gonna heat you up, get you get your your blood moving. I'm a big fan of Theobromine just because it gets me warm for the workout. Um, there are some fat burning benefits here. Overall, it's just going to be an additional stimulant that's going to be alongside the caffeine. It, it kind of works synergistically with caffeine. I know synergy is kind of a, a touchy subject in this industry, but I like seeing uh, Theobromine alongside a healthy dose of caffeine. Um, at 200 milligrams here, it's it's a nice dosage, so you're going to feel this definitely for sure. Rounding it off from the last two, we have Rawolfia, which is going to be a source of alpha yohimbi at 1.5 milligrams. Uh, yohimbi will definitely wake you up. Um, some people will get some of uh, some kind of negative physical effects, cold sweats, a little bit of paranoia, anxiety, but I personally react to this version very well. I'm personally a fan of it. I know Mike tends to try to limit the amount of Yohimbi he gets because it'll, it'll give him like that cold sweat feeling, but uh, here at 1.5 milligrams, I'm really not too concerned. 1.5 is gonna be, I would say an average dose of this is gonna be at two milligrams. So it's a little bit below the average. It's gonna be enough to warm you up get you moving, get that blood flow really nice, but it's not gonna be too much for your body to handle. And lastly, we have to uh, toothed club moss, which is a source of Huperzine A. So what's really cool is we have at first the uh, choline bitartrate, which forms acetylcholine in the body. Like I said before, it helps out with your uh, mental focus, helps out with your mind-muscle connection. Uh, it's generally a very nice ingredient for your brain. Now. There is, an, there is a uh, compound in the, in the body called acetylcholine esterase, which is basically an enzyme that breaks down acetylcholine. So when you're producing more acetylcholine, this enzyme goes in and gets rid of excess amounts in the body. That's a normal thing for your body to do, but in this case, if we're trying to boost the amount, we don't want your body to be downregulating it as much. So this product here, to the club moss, which is yielding Huprazine A, is going to actually uh, lower that acetylcholine esterase in your body. It's going to make sure that the acetylcholine is staying longer in the body, remaining active and keeping you focused. Overall, this product is going to be definitely more geared towards a power athlete, someone who is who needs some blood flow, but not looking to fully engorge the muscle with blood like a bodybuilder might. Um, if you are a, a old school bodybuilder like a Dorian Yates style trainer who wants some serious blood and guts, um, this could work for you, but don't expect uh, your nitrate pump, don't expect your super pump, don't expect that kind of uh, effect from this. This is going to mostly be stimulants and power output. Um, as long as you know that, I think it's a great product for most trainers. Uh, if you're looking to get a little bit more strength in the gym, have a little more fun, I think it's a great product. Uh, I don't think that uh, that should be looked down upon. Sometimes a lot of consumers look down on products that are focused on one category of pre-workout nutrition instead of all of them because we have gotten a little bit spoiled in these products that are like 28 grams and hit every single category. So I think Warrior is an affordable cool option if you are looking for something a little more power oriented. Um, if you're looking for a uh, review on the flavor, you can run over to the other uh, video, which I'll probably have linked at some point now. Um, Barbarians is gonna be a little bit of a play on nerds. Uh, I theorized that it was actually grape when I drank it, but knew there was something else in there, which is true. Nerds have grape flavors, but they also have other flavors in there. So uh, enjoyed the flavor. I'm not a grape guy, but the other flavors kind of made it uh, enjoyable to, to drink. So overall, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you're looking for more news, reviews, or interviews on uh, Nutrix, or if you're looking for a good deal on Warrior, uh, you can go over to pricepilow.com slash Nutrix research and use coupon code PRICEPLOW for a nice little discount on the price. For all the qu other questions, you can comment below. Love to answer your questions for you. Thanks guys for watching, and have a great day. Welcome to Price Plow.